everybody is talking about Sia's new Elastic Heart music video, and I'm dying because it stars Brett's two favorite people. How is that possible? So we have Maddie from Dance Moms and, of course, Shia LaBeouf. And it was no surprise that Maddie was in it because we remember her in uh, Chandeliers, the music video. Uh -huh. But to see Shia LaBeouf join her, especially in this cage, we'll talk about it. Can we toss to it? Okay, so yes, you see uh, she in a nude leotard. He's in that nude tidy whitey <laughs> outfit. They're in the cage. Before we discuss our thoughts, five words or less. She's back. Maddie, Shia, Shia, Sia, Mia, her. Two points for Shia. He's back. I feel like he's back. I'm happy about this. Here's the thing. Seldom do my... Not necessarily my favorite things in the world, but things I'm so very passionate about. Seldom do they collide. I know. In this way. <laughs> and I yeah. already felt like Shia was involved in Chandelier because I always thought Sia was pronounced Shia. Oh and yeah, that's right, remember? It might be until I told you you were wrong about it. And then I looked it up and felt like a dork um, because I was wrong about it. But uh, I, I just think that maybe that it's that simple. Why Shia was brought in was because it sounds like Sia. Okay, Brett. <laughs> I think he does a really great job in, yeah. his, in music videos. He's so good. I thought he, yeah, he killed it. Yeah. So if anyone watches Dance Moms, one thing they talk about all the time is facial expressions. Mm. Abby Lee Miller is all about like, oh, Maddie has the best facial expressions. No, Shia LaBeouf has the best <laughs> dancing facial expressions. It's like, as much as I wanted to make fun of him, and there's tons of physical movements you can make fun of him for, but in this, like, his face is just, like, enthralling. I love, so did you guys, I loved the music video. I loved every moment of it. I couldn't believe the part where he punched the cage. Because he, re you know Shia, he, yes. like, yeah. says that he does everything full force. So when he punched it, I was trying to see if he was bleeding, because I know that he's the type of actor that would punch it full force, and it certainly looked that way. Mm. But I loved seeing them dance the way they did. I loved the whole, like, animalistic uh, underlying theme, her escaping the cage and him not being able to. It got me emotional. I thought yeah. I was watching, um, what's that reality show, the dancing one? Not Dancing with the Stars, but the other so one. So you think you can dance? Yes, it reminded me of something like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I really liked the mm -hmm. idea of the video, and Sia said on her Facebook page that it was supposed to be the two sides of her. Ooh. Because everyone's speculating that it's her father, it's like the relationship that she had with her father. Okay. But it's actually two sides of her, the masculine and feminine. Wow. And so I thought that was interesting. What I hate about this video is that, not the video apart from it, is that everybody is talking about how it's fodder for pedophilia. Really? Which I hate. I think that's so stupid. I didn't even hear. That's There's interesting. There's definitely some moments where I'm like, uh. I didn't really feel that odd. way. I will just it's like. It's like a, it's like, it's like a babysitter playing with, it, it felt Yeah, there were, but there I felt was, like big brother, little sister yeah. type of a thing. But okay, interesting because people I are saying that. that. I see that. Okay. I mean, and that's just because of the situation of having like a very dainty, girly girl. Right. Young girl. Yeah. In not that much clothing with a very like buff, shy, dirty Shia LaBeouf right. in not that much clothing. Yeah. And they're wrestling. So that's one of those things where like, I can see how that would jump into your head. It doesn't really bear out completely in the video. Yeah. I think the most frustrating and terrible thing about the video is like, I'm pretty sure Shia could make it out of that cage. Yeah, you at the very <laughs> end, you're like, just, just to, go. Just a little bit more. And yeah. I mean, dude, one arm is around one bar and the other, just take this arm and put it through that bar. Yeah. yeah. Huh. But, but I, everybody's talking about it. It's on GMA. It's on the Today Show. Why is it getting so much publicity more than any other, I feel like, even project that Shy has been a part of? Is it because Chandelier of this? Chandelier was such a thing. And that yeah. to have all, like, people like, you know, Channing Tatum doing like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Uh, it was such a thing. And Dance Moms is such a thing. And it was such a good, it was such good timing for them to do it now because Dance Moms season five is on right now. Oh, gosh. Tuesdays at, I think, nine o'clock. I don't know. I TiVo it. Here. They're gonna be in LA, so we need to have. We had Asia. Yeah, on we the need show. to have more. We need Maddie. We need Maddie on. We She's amazing. We need Max Z. You guys need to start watching the show because it is going bonkers this year. Okay. So uh, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, you guys, you have to check out the Maroon Five Animals parody by our very own Bree and Brett. It's pretty disturbing, but also equally fantastic.
check it out. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Secrets.